the first artificial heart, 30 years later. Outside the University of Utah Hospital windows a blizzard swirled, inside another kind of power, not the least bit natural, was about to be set in motion. 30 years ago, on December 2, 1982, in the darkest hours of the morning, cardiothoracic surgeon William DeVries, MD, carefully removed the ravaged heart of Dr. Barney Clark, a heart that tore like tissue paper due to years of treatment with steroids, and replaced it with the world's first permanent artificial heart. Known as the Jarvik 7, named after former U of U physician and inventor Robert Jarvik, MD, this aluminum and polyurethane device was connected to a 400-pound air compressor that would accompany Clark for the rest of his life, all 112 days of it. At the time, such a move was associated with the significance of putting a man on the moon or seeing Saturn's rings for the first time. It captivated the world. Others equated it with Frankenstein-like aspects, raising bioethical questions and concerns. During the seven-hour operation, reporters from around the world set up their press headquarters in the hospital cafeteria, draining the coffee supply. The entire world held their breath as Clark began his final journey, pioneering a new frontier of medicine involving the most symbolic of all our organs, the heart. A dentist and tumble back from Seattle, Clark was hailed as a hero as the world witnessed a wondering hard days and enjoying some good ones too. Celebrating his 39th anniversary with his wife, Lula Loy, and their children was one of the good days. Quite suddenly, on March 23, 1983, Clark passed away at the age of 62. Clark's willingness to pioneer this new device infused life into mechanical heart device research and challenged all of us to open our minds and question what is possible. Today, researchers at the University of Utah continue to push the boundaries of what's possible for patients like Barney Clark. Our advanced heart failure program remains the only the only institution in the region actively studying novel, investigational devices to support the failing heart, says Craig H. Selzman, MD, Surgical Director of the University of Utah's Cardiac Mechanical Support and Heart Transplant Program in the Lung and Heart Slash Lung Transplant Program. During the Barney Clark era, the field was so young that you barely had a heart surgery program that transformative leaps such as implanting the first artificial heart could be made. Today, research in this field is more about incremental advances, smaller steps forward. What we are trying to do now, so just like all medicine, is to become more biologically your based, explain cells to that space the that's beyond the devices all illusion. we use are now very refined. You are Today, patients pure. suffering from heart failure you can extend their lives with the implantation the dream of a lack of the ventricular assist device, LED, that weighs only 10 you. ounces and so has a diameter of 2.5 inches. And the next transformative advance is going to be in manipulating the biology that's of the patient and giving the heart pumps illusion. to assist patients in getting their heart you to recover its function with the possibility you of removing the heart pump and avoiding transplant the dream of this world can never touch you so give up your attachment and heart, give up but your rather confusion the factors that are involved and fly in to that space better. that's beyond when applied to the vast illusion. number of heart failure patients this information has the potential to be as transformative you as the first input of a pure. total artificial you heart you are forever true and the dream Research, of this world can never touch you Hello, friend. so you like give it, up your attachment and give up your confusion it is very importantly to widen the channel. I'll tell you, thank you.